Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I thought I would do a little bit of sign language just to introduce myself today. And as you saw from the thumbnail, we're going to be looking at the anime Osama Ranking and I'm going to be breaking down some of the medical science in these scenes. We're going to be following the character Boji, I'll be talking about the potential causes of deafness, the science behind sign language, and we'll also be looking at his unique fighting style. Now this is definitely one of my favourite anime of this year, and if it was for you, let me know down below in the comments. If there are any other scenes from this anime that you'd like me to break down, also please let me know. But otherwise, let's have a look at today's scenes. So the first thing to say is that this anime does give very nostalgic vibes to shows like Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. The introduction of this anime's main character Boji is very similar to that of Goku. They both seem to be very innocent and carefree and have that childish naivety about themselves. <laughs> So in this next scene we see that Boji is introduced to this Kage character and Kage finds out that Boji is unable to hear anything and he also isn't able to speak. Now really the best way of understanding the causes of hearing loss is really having a good understanding of how we hear sound. So firstly, sound in our environment travels to our ear canals where they're met by the eardrum, which is otherwise known as the tympanic membrane. Now, sound causes the eardrum to vibrate. These vibrations are then transmitted through three main bones in the ear, which are known as the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. These three bones amplify the sound's vibrations and send them to the cochlea, this structure that looks like a snail shell. Now, the cochlea is filled with fluid. Sound vibrations cause this fluid to ripple, which causes waves. Now, these waves are picked up by hair cells, which are found in the cochlea, and these transfer them into electrical signals, which are then sent on to the auditory nerve. The auditory nerve then takes these electrical signals to the brain where we perceive sound. So really the causes of deafness can be as a result of disruption to either one or more of these structures. <laughs> Okay, so in this next scene, we see that the cause of Boji being short, weak, and deaf are as a result of his father, King Bose, making a deal with the devil. But in reality, what are the potential causes of deafness before birth? Well, we can separate the causes of congenital deafness into two different types, those being genetic and those being non-genetic causes. For example, there are certain inherited genetic conditions where a mutation in a gene results in a protein forming abnormally. Now, this means that your ear apparatus aren't put together correctly and subsequently you're born with hearing loss. On the other hand, aside from genetic causes, you can have other factors that affect the development of the hearing apparatus during pregnancy. For example, infections like rubella or herpes or CMV, which are actually things that we screen for once we find out a lady is pregnant. <laughs> Okay, so this is a flashback scene to when Boji was born, and we can see that King Bose is so shocked at how small Boji is, and he's maybe beginning to regret the decision that he's made with the devil. But sticking on the topic of hearing loss, how do we screen babies for deafness? Well, first off, I think it's quite important to appreciate how common deafness really is. The figure in the UK is that one to two in every thousand babies born will have some form of permanent hearing loss affecting either one or both ears. Therefore, in the UK, we have a newborn hearing assessment where babies have their hearing assessed before they go home. The test itself takes a matter of minutes and is non-invasive, so it shouldn't really upset the baby. The most common bedside test that's used is something called automated 
Otto Acoustic Emissions. Now, during this test, a sound is played into the baby's ear and a probe detects acoustic energy produced in response to the sound. If acoustic energy is detected, then we know that the hearing apparatus is working. <laughs> So now after seeing Boji being affected by this curse, it looks like King Burst is actually quite regretful and is wanting to give him whatever he can in his life to make up for it. But sticking with his hearing loss, what other treatments for this? Well really it comes down to a number of factors. The first being the underlying cause of the deafness. Other factors that also need to be considered are what structures within the ear aren't working correctly, and then finally, the severity of the hearing loss. But generally speaking, the options that are available are things like hearing aids, which help to amplify the external sound, all the way through to things like cochlear implants, which are surgically implanted into the cochlea, and these work to help stimulate the hearing nerve directly. Obviously, this is more invasive, and therefore tends to be reserved for children with more severe hearing loss. And here we're seeing King Boss's new queen trying to learn sign language to better communicate with Boji. But where did sign language come from? Well, sign language was thought to have been started by a monk in the 1500s. It's reported that the monk was inspired by a system of signs that himself and fellow monks used whilst in silent meditation. It's thought that from this he decided to make a school for children who were deaf, where he turned the signs that he was using into an alphabet so that he could teach the students. This alphabet that he created was further developed over the centuries, most notably in the 1700s by a French priest called Charles Michael de la Pepe, who went on to develop the first dictionary for sign language. Let's have a look at a few simple, commonly used gestures that we can learn today. So we've got yes, no, and thank you. And guys, just to say, if you want to learn more about sign language, I'll leave a link to this guy's video down below in the comments. But for now, back to the anime scenes. I think it's pretty cool how other characters in this show also look to learn sign language. Imagine how useful and exciting it would feel to be able to communicate in a completely other language with someone new just after a matter of minutes of practice. One thing though that I'd have to mention is that much like languages have changed from region to region, the same is true of sign language. There are so many different types based on where you might live. For example, you have people who use American Sign Language or people that use British and Australian Sign Language, just to name a few. So in this scene, we can see that Boji has also developed the ability to read lips. And if you stop and think about how amazing that actually really is, to really appreciate how hard this is, you have to consider that different people have different accents, so maybe pronounce things differently and maybe move their lips differently. They may also have facial hair, which comes in the way of their lips. And they may even actually put their hand in front of their lips at times, meaning that you can't fully read what they're saying. It's almost as though they have a superhuman power of observation and focusing. <laughs> So it's really interesting in this scene and in several others where we see that Boji tries to communicate using his voice. And you might be wondering, can deaf people speak? And the simple answer is yes, of course they can. There is no problem with their vocal apparatus. But that begs the question, why do they sound like this? Well, really, it depends on when you became deaf. Now, really, if you develop deafness later on in life, you would have had your whole life to experience speech. However, if you were born deaf, and you'd never actually heard sound, imagine how difficult it would be to learn how to speak. You wouldn't be able to hear the sounds that you were trying to imitate to create your own voice. 
Now, that's not to say that if you were born deaf, you can't acquire a voice like mine, for example, but it would require a lot of practice and a lot of vocal training. And I think it's also important to say that there are those in the deaf community who don't want to speak because they have their own sign language and they're happy with that. あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ